What is a Christian? A Christian is a person who follows Jesus Christ. It sounds simple, right? Well, yes. But also, we need to have a bit of a deeper chat about this topic. Because following Jesus is much more than just calling yourself a Christian and maybe going to church on Christmas and Easter. The term Christian was actually not the first name that was given to Christians, and it was not given to them by Jesus himself. Rather, it was a name that was meant to mock those who followed Christ a few years after his death and resurrection. It's kind of like how the term Jesus freak came about, and then people started actually using it for themselves. The apostles and those who first followed Jesus Christ called themselves the way. This was in reference to how Jesus called himself the way, the truth, and the life. Now, personally, if I could speculate for a moment, I would perceive that this would have signaled to everyone else around them that the way that they lived was radically different than the rest of the world. More on that in a bit. So what does it mean to be someone that follows the way, a Christian? The first thing that it means is that you put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. In other words, you have to trust that Jesus really is God, that he lived, died, and rose from the grave so that your sins would be forgiven and you can now have eternal life with God in heaven after you pass away in this life. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10, this is the message of faith that we proclaim. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. One believes with the heart, resulting in righteousness, and one confesses with the mouth, resulting in salvation. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does all of that mean? As mentioned before, faith means trust. Righteousness means standing morally right before God. And salvation means being rescued from darkness, immorality, and sinfulness by God and receiving the promise of eternal life in heaven. But what is it that you need salvation from? Well, the answer for that is found all throughout the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, and that is sin and death. You see, the entirety of the Bible centers around mankind's rebellion against God, God's rescue of his people, God establishing his people, only for his people to rebel against him again. I mean, seriously, this happened a whole lot in the Old Testament. The first instance of sin and death came when Adam and Eve both ate the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They were both enticed by Satan's words when Satan told Eve that if they ate the fruit, then they would become like God. God had made it very clear what the consequence of eating that fruit would be, death. But they were led astray anyway by their desire. As a result of this, God tossed Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden, the perfect place where they originally got to enjoy the full presence of God, and now they had to live and ultimately die out in the wilderness, separated from God. This is the essence of sin in our fallen world. But even when Adam and Eve were being kicked out of the garden, God promises to restore humanity to himself through the seed of Eve, which is Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus lived a perfect life and died on the cross so that you and I could be restored to God and have the promise that one day after we pass away, we will join God in the garden of Eden or rather, heaven. We'll come back to heaven in just a little bit. But as an overview again, salvation is God restoring humanity to himself through the death and resurrection of Jesus so that we would not have to bear the punishment of sin and death on our own. I hope that this video has been encouraging to you. I hope that in your new life with Jesus Christ, that you will find the ultimate desire of your heart to know the Lord and to be loved more than you could ever imagine. If you did find this to be helpful, please subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Also, please consider giving financially to this ministry. You can give by donating through Patreon or PayPal, or you can check out our Etsy shop for some shirts to rep Jesus Christ everywhere you go. Thank you so much for tuning into The Gospel Mindset. My name is Joshua Gajonik. God bless you and have a wonderful day.